Um, I use C Sharp, it's a .NET language, and um, on the daily it's usually maintenance as part of the priority, and then after that we get into Scrum. Um, under Scrum there's work that is project related, so we try and finish that off uh, for the end of the sprint, which is kind of like our work uh, procedure. And then once that's done, you just move on and get more work. <laughs> I studied um, information technology at the Cape Peninsula University of Technology. It was a national diploma. Yeah, it's pretty ideal, but what you learn at university is pretty basic. So it takes a lot of um, initiative to like, go out and learn on your own and also what you're interested in because uh, they just teach you the foundation and then after that you get to choose if you want to do mobile development, if you want to stick into C Sharp or Java. There's a lot of paths. So whatever you'll be comfortable with or whatever makes you happy, like you just choose that and you pursue that. Yeah, there is a great need um, of developers. Um, and the sectors right now, <coughs> I would say is mobile. There's a lot of mobile developers uh, that are shorting, um, but other than that, even in the other fields, there's still developers that are needed. Let's say C Sharp, Java, um, PHP, those are, those are usually the top three, and when people usually call you up, they ask you about those. So if you have any of those under your skills, then it will probably be very employable. Oh yes, it is a rewarding career. Um, if you like problems and solving stuff, then you're going to be very happy. Although it can get a bit frustrating sometimes when you spend a lot of time on a small problem. And then, yeah, but at the end of the day, you always feel like you did something. Yeah. Well, um, you need to have a heart of like initiative. So. Because there, there are a lot of people that come out of university and all in the same stuff. Um, but you kind of need to show what you're capable of doing. So maybe from home, if you can uh, build an app or build a website or whatever, and kind of show what you can do, um, that would help you when you go look for a job. Because when you get there, you're like, okay, this is what I've done. And they can see if you'll be able to adapt into what they do. And yeah, that will kick you off pretty well. <laughs>